Alicia Sirk, and I'm running for town clerk for the town of Plattsburgh. Um, ever since I was a little girl, I've always envisioned myself in politics. Uh, from the very first L.A. Law show, I watched it about three years old until I went to college uh, and studied political science. Um, I graduated from St. Lawrence University with a bachelor's degree in government, speech, and theater and music. I was St. Lawrence's first and last triple major. Um, and I graduated from Plattsburgh State University with a master's degree in administration and leadership with concentrations in total quality management, human resource development, and negotiation and bargaining. Um, growing up, I was also uh, a military uh, child. My father served uh, at Plattsburgh Air Force Base, um, and he was, was a lifetime um, member. And then I uh, grew up and, and married a uh, soldier. So I went from Air Force to Army, um, but uh, the experience uh, living in a military family is like no other. And I, although hard at times, I wouldn't trade it for the world. Um, it's given me the ability to um, be strong and courageous at times when things are difficult. Um, but also, um, I lived and breathed the flag for as long as I can remember. Um, and it will always fly outside my home on 22B. And uh, so um, that's one exciting thing about being an American and, and loving the country so much, uh, which is why I really want to have the opportunity to serve as your town clerk. Um, I've always believed that public service should be for the betterment of society and um, should be at the convenience of the public and not at the person serving, um, which is why, you know, looking at things going on right now, um, I want to be able to cater to the public, to the working public, to senior citizens and college students. Um, life is so crazy and people have such hectic schedules that I want to be able to accommodate them. Um, things like early morning hours, um, evening hours, and hours by appointment. Uh, someone shouldn't have to take time off from work to get a dog license or to come in for their marriage license. These are things that um, should be able to be accommodated um, to the, uh, the public. And that's one thing that I really want to do. Closing at 4 o'clock um, during the week is, not, um, is really not acceptable um, for, for, the, for the public service. Um, I also would like to be able to have office automation. Um, I want the public to be able to pay for things and, and fill out applications for things online, uh, for most things. Certain things you can't do, like marriage licenses, obviously. You have to be um, in the presence of the town clerk to be able to do such things. Um, but, you know, to uh, renew your, your dog license, those are things that you should be able to do online. Those are things that you should be able to, to pay by credit card. Um, you know, don't get me wrong, you don't have to do it, but uh, it should be there as an option for people. I know the county has, um, you know, over the past couple of years has instituted that policy and it's worked really well. Um, I believe even the, the treasurer's office uh, in the town, you can pay for things with credit card. You should be able to do that in the town clerk's office as well. Um, you know, I also believe that the town minutes should be up to date. They should be um, consistent and they should be put online um, in a relatively short period of time after the date of of the town board meeting. Um, the public should know what's going on. They should know more than just resolutions. They should know, um, you know, who voted for what, uh, what was said, um, not just what the resolutions were and what the decision was. Um, the public has a right to know these things and they shouldn't have to jump through hoops to get these answers. Um, you know, they should be, uh, be up there, you know, the, t the town should be, um, should be open uh, it should be a transparent government, um, and in order for the public to trust their local representatives, and in order for the local government to run as it should, um, there should be transparency, and, and you deserve to know what's going on and who voted for what and why and, and uh, you know, all these things that aren't happening right now. Um, I would love uh, the opportunity to serve you. Um, it was actually one of my greatest dreams is to, to be a public servant. Um, so, you know, I would thank you for the opportunity, um, and I uh, thank you for your consideration on November 3rd.